Welcome to our Monday night spiritual warfare. It's Monday again. Come on, somebody. It's Monday again. So we're on here to pray for healing. We're still lifting up marriages in this time because the enemy is not stopping on the on, on disruption, on dividing against marriages. So we're not going to stop either. We want to hit him and we want to continue in this battle because we're believing God wants to use this time right now and he wants to use us in this hour to strengthen marriages, to uplift marriages, to heal, to forgive, to reunite back together as one flesh. And we're believing God is going to utilize this time in the name of Jesus. Come on. So we're praying right now to uh, strengthen, to strengthen uh, uh, marriages right now, to strengthen lives right now, to bring back fresh hope right now. And we believe that God is going to do a mighty healing as well and mighty miracles and physical healings because we believe in signs and wonders right. here at Chapel of Change Dallas. We believe in the greatness of the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Holy Spirit. Spirit to rise, right? To bring back, right? To bring back life, right? We're believing this right now in the name of Jesus. We come in the name of Jesus. So we love you, saints. We love you guys. We love you. If you have any prayer or request, please put them in the comments as we uh, pray right now. As we believe in God to do a mighty, mighty uh, work right now in uh, our lives and everybody's lives right now. So, you know, like I said, we're going to keep continuing on lifting up marriages right now in this time, you know, and I want to keep taking it back. The more we can take it back and understand the purpose and plan of why God created man. Mm. See, God created man, right? He created man from the dust of the ground, mm. right? He formed Adam, right? He formed the man from the dust of the ground and created his body, but also he breathed, God breathed into Adam's nostrils, right? The breath of life, mm. right? And he 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 created life into his bones, right? Into Adam's bones. But see, it didn't stop there. It didn't stop there. Then Adam, then after Adam was created and God breathed into Adam's nostrils and created the life, he went and took the rib out of man, right? He took the rib out of man and he created woman. He created woman out of the rib of the man. And then he brought the woman to Adam, right? And the man said, now this is the bone of my bones, the flesh of my flesh. See, it was substance. God created it out of substance, right? A tissue, right? He didn't start from scratch because there was a purpose. There was a design, right? It was his design of creating the woman to be united, to be the helper of Adam, right? To be the helper of Adam so they could so they could be together, right? So they could be together in this time, right? In prayer, in fellowship, in one accord. That was God's purpose, right? Because, it, I mean, it's just, it, it's just more heavier and deeper when it's created out of the substance, right? Of the tissue that God created, right? Okay. To be one flesh together. See, the devil knows this. And this is why the devil always comes in to distract. And this is why the devil always comes in to divert and, and cause, you know, um, you know, just division within the household, division between the relationship between the husband and wife, 
because he knows if he could separate them, he's separating God's plan. See, the attack isn't on us. The attack is on God himself. So I'm here to educate us men of God. I'm here to educate us women of God tonight to stand together what God's plan and purpose was for a husband and wife to be together. It was God's plan for them to be one because they were created out of the same tissue, right? Out of the same tissue to be reunited, to be united together, right? In one flesh in marriage, right? Yes. That was God's plan. Your helper, your helper in prayer, right? Your helper in this time. So we're still going to be uplifting this time right now in, a, in prayer because we're believing God to do a mighty work right now in this time. So we're believing him to, to work right now. So let us start to pray. Let us start to pray and uplift God right now and just uh, allow the Holy Spirit to move and allow the Holy Spirit to work and to heal people's lives today and just to break the curses and the generational curses and break the assignments that's placed on marriages. And we're still praying for women, for single mothers out there. We're still praying for children. We're still praying for, for, uh, for widows out there because God loves you. God sees your heart. Oh, God sees your heart. He sees the work. He sees the labor. He sees your tears. You were created for something special, my sisters. You have such a strength and courage that the world has never known. You can endure so much more, you know, than, than the regular person. So I want you to know that. I want you to know how special you are to God because he loves you and he's going to continue blessing you and he's going to continue opening doors that no man can shut when you completely surrender to God, yes. when you completely trust in God, mm -hmm. trust in him, trust in the, in the path that he sends you women. Oh, he has a mighty plan for you. He can do all things. He can do all things for the one that reaches out to him, for the one that cries out to him, for the one that surrenders to God Almighty, to our creator, to our creator. So let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, we come before you this night and we yes, thank Lord. you, Father. We thank you that you've given us the opportunity to pray over your people, to pray for your people and uplift your people, Father. Tonight, Father, we uplift every single mother to you, Father God. We uplift them and we ask you to surround them with your love, your peace, and your wisdom, Father God. And let us remember that the, the beginning, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Mm. For when we come before you, every single one of us, when we come before you with, your, with fear and trembling, Father, that is when we are at the beginning of our, our true walk, Father God. Yeah. And right now, Father God, I pray, I pray that we are all bound in unity in you, Father. Let us bind ourselves in the unity that is Christ as he intended it to be when he came. For what did he say? He said, love one another as I have loved you, as I have loved you. And let us, let us be healed through Christ for he is our healer. We are saved through him and he is our praise. And we ask Father God to allow us to forgive one another as you have forgiven us, Father. We lift up every single, single mother to you, Father. And we ask you right now to put your hand upon her so that she may lead her children in your ways, so that she can lead them in your ways. Because you tell us in your word, Father, you tell us when we, when we raise up children in the ways of the Lord, yes. when they are grown, they will not depart from it, Father God. Yes. 
and he will not depart from it. And Father, you tell us to forgive each other, not seven times, not 20 times, but 70 times, seven times, Father. Yes. Let us continue to forgive one another as you have forgiven us so that we may continue to be forgiven by you, Father God. Yes. Let us always remember that, Father, if we have you, we have all we need. We need nothing else. Yes. Because you provide all we have for you. You said in your word that the, the King Solomon was not clothed as splendidly as the flowers are. And if you clothe the flowers, how much more do you want to give to us, Father God? Mm. You tell us, Father. You tell us, Father, to give all our cares to you because you care for us. You tell us to lay our burdens at your feet, to give us your our yoke, to give you our yokes, Father God, because your burden is light and your yoke is easy and you want to give us rest. But we have not because we ask not, Father God. Right now, tonight, Father, we come asking you. We come asking and you tell us in your word to all those who ask, they receive when they ask in your name. To all those who seek will find when we seek with our whole hearts, Father. And to all those who knock, the door will be opened with, the, with to them. And you will come in and dine with us, Father. We are asking you to come down and dine with us. Be abide with us right now in this time. Touch every single one of your people, Father. Those who are far from you, those who are close to you, those who are on their way to you, Father God. Yes. We ask you, Father, to find that one in the darkness. Lead us to that one in the darkness, that one that has been lost, so that we may shine your light into their pit and into their darkness and bring them into your glorious light. Yes. Help us, Father. Help us. Take the, take the scales from our eyes. Take the veil from our eyes and let us see into into the spiritual father so we may fight effectively father god for you tell us in your word that the fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much let our prayer father be effective in all we do wherever we are and father god we ask you right now we lift up every single marriage to you right now father god we ask you we ask you just to be in every marriage we ask you to put a healing through every marriage to heal those old wounds, the wounds from previous relationships that, that, that they may be bringing with them into their new relationship, Father God. Those old hurts, those old scars, heal them, Father God. Because you tell us in, our, in your word, Father, that by every stripe that the Lord Jesus has, that we are healed, not only physically, not only spiritually, but emotionally, mentally, Father. A whole healness, just as the woman of blood was made whole, Father. Yes. We thank you, Father, for every single, every single deliverance, every single person that you have brought back into your kingdom, into your family, Father. Yes. For we are not just your children. We are brothers. We are sisters. We are a family of one body, Father. Let us work together as a body, yes. effectively for the advancement of your kingdom. Yes. For when we work as one, Father, that is when the true glory is revealed. Mm. That is when the true love of Christ is revealed. That is when you are revealed, Father. Mm. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, that all these things are coming to pass right now. We thank you, Father, that you have already started working in lives, Father, that you have already started bringing those who are hurt, broken, that those have been abused, those who have been backslidden and downtrodden to your people, yeah. to your church, to your light, Father God. We thank you tonight, Father, that you love us no matter where we are, no matter what we've done and no, no matter where we've been. You tell us, Father, that you are not ashamed of us. You have loved us and you have known us since before we were in our mother's womb, Father God. Yes. You chose before we were even created to adopt us into your family. Yes. We lift, uplift every single orphan to you right now, Father God, and we proclaim over you. We proclaim over your or these, or these orphans. You are not orphans. Mm -hmm. You have a heavenly Father that has always been with you. He loves you. He cares for you. He has always been with you. He t your word, Father, tells us that you have never left us nor forsaken us. Yes. And you never will. Yes. 
Yes. You are always with us, surrounding us. You go before us to make our path straight. You, go, you walk behind us, and you're on each side of us, Father. Yes. You have never left us. You love us more than we could ever imagine, Father, with, with an unimaginable peace, Father God, the peace that goes beyond all understanding. And we ask you tonight for that peace. Help us, Father, to feel that love no matter where we are, no matter where we've been. And Father, we ask you to help us forgive ourselves as you have already forgiven us yes. for everything that we've put ourselves, our loved ones, strangers, everyone through. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, that we are able to cry out to you and say, Abba, Abba, Adonai, you are our healer, our Father, our protection, our strong tower, Father yes. God. We thank you and we praise you, Father God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father God. We come to praise your holy name tonight, Father God. We come to glorify your holy name, Lord. We come to uplift every ear right now, Father, that is listening right now in a healing manner, Father. We come to uplift marriages right now. We come to uplift single mothers right now. We come to uplift widows right now. We come to anoint and bless children right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, because your word says for those who love God, all things work together for their good, Father. So we pray right now, Father, that all things, Father, are working together for your good, Father. Father, for you are our strength, Father God, for you are our shield, Father God, for your power and your Holy Spirit abound in hope, Father. So we ask for hope tonight, Father. We pray that your Holy Spirit will come down, Father God, to freshen us, Father, to give us a new fire, Father, to be our strength, Father, to give us hope, Father, so we could dine with you father we want to dine with you lord we pray father god oh lord we pray for healing tonight father we pray that your healing will reveal father god we will reveal father god and bring prosperity father god and abundance father god and security father we pray father that your abundance of love will be poured out tonight father for you are jesus christ for you are the same yesterday today and forever father we bind everything up tonight father we bind up all wounds father with your holy spirit let your holy spirit heal father for your word says you're going to heal the sick you're going to raise the dead you're going to clean the lepers and you're going to cast out demons so we come father god we come to abide in your holy spirit father we come to cast out demons tonight father through your holy spirit let your holy spirit work and abound father we pray father that you will raise up the sick tonight father we pray that you're going to cleanse people of sickness father we pray father that that there is healing taking place, Father. That there is healing. Let your holy oil heal tonight, Father. We pray that there is healing in the marriage, Father. We break all division, Father. We break that division. We cast that division out, Father. We cast that anger out, Father. We cast that confusion out, Father. We pray of mighty divine healing tonight, Father. We pray forgiveness, Father. We pray of mighty mighty healing of forgiveness father we pray back unity together in the marriage father i pray tonight father that there is a mighty miracle taking place right now in the holy spirit i pray right now there's a fullness taking place in every household right now through the holy spirit there's a there's a feeling of love there's a feeling of healing there's a feeling of forgiveness oh there's a feeling of joy coming back oh, Oh, let there be a joy coming back in the home for this is your joy is the strength of the Lord. 
So we pray this in abundance tonight. I pray over, over every woman that is listening right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for every, every widow right now in the name of Jesus. I pray a mighty blessing of heaven upon them right now. I pray a mighty blessing for their children right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for, for strengthening. I pray for alignment. I pray that you make every crooked path straight in the name of Jesus. I pray that every door that opens that no man can shut. I yes. pray for all doors to open. I pray for the windows of heaven to pour upon them right now in the name of Jesus. I pray and we break every assignment against their children right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that evil spirit that is that is cast out right now in the name of Jesus. I pray healing over their home. I pray peace over their home right now. I pray a abundance of love right now I pray a calmness I pray that the heavens will come down and pour down their love right now I pray that the warring angels will fill that house right now and start warring oh Lord I pray this in the name of Jesus I pray over every single mother right now I pray for strength for her right now I pray for courage for her right now I pray father God that you'll bless them abundantly right now oh Lord Lord, I pray for their children, Father. I pray, Father God, that your hand will never leave them and your hand will never forsake them. And your hand will always be with them. And your hand is always going to carry them. And your hand is always going to walk with them. Oh, Lord, I pray, Father God, your grace, Father God, and your mercy, Father God, upon their lives right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for a mighty healing taking place right now. I believe the Lord is healing you right now in the name of Jesus. I believe there's a mighty healing taking place right now. I believe, Father. I believe, Father God, that you're doing a mighty work, Father. I pray over new marriages right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will strengthen them right now. Oh, Lord, I pray for love over the new marriages, Father. Oh, for they stepped out and they came together, Father God, into the divine design, into your covenant, Father. I pray, Father, that you'll bring them together in one substance, Father. I come against any assignment that wants to come and attack any new marriages. Right now, we come to cast them out and we come to break them right now in the name of Jesus. I pray a mighty blessing over every household right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that the mighty powers of God to be fulfilled into every household, to be fulfilled into every heart right now. For you are still the Lord of Lords and for you are still the King of Kings, Father. For you still sit at the right hand, Father. For you are risen on the third day, Father. And we glorify you tonight, Father. We praise your holy name tonight, Father. We thank you, Father, for the uplifting, Father. We thank you, Father, for the breaking, Father, of the generational curses, Father. We thank you, Father, for the breaking of the assignments, Father. We thank you for your, for your healing touch, Father, through the Holy Spirit, Father. We thank you, Lord. I pray for every men right now that is listening. Every kingdom man, I pray right now. We break and we cast out any pride right now in the name of Jesus. We cast out insecurity right now in the name of Jesus. I pray the love of Christ upon you. I pray a humble heart upon you. Oh, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. I pray the love. The love of the Holy Spirit right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for your love, Father God. I thank you, Lord. We come to praise your holy name, Father. Lord, I pray a special blessing, Father over every household, Lord. We pray for the city of Dallas, Father. We uplift the city of Dallas, Father. Lord, we pray, Father, that you uh, just keep moving, Father God, in every lives, Lord, in every household right now, Father. We declare this back 
to you, Father. We take back this ground. We take back the city of Oak Cliff, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord. We declare it yours, Father. We declare it holy ground, Father. We thank you, Father God, and we praise your holy name, Lord. We worship you in this time, Father. We glorify you in this time, Lord, for you are worthy, Father, of all praise, Lord. You are worthy of all praise, Father God, for we come to glorify you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We praise your holy name, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. And we all say, Amen. And Amen. And Amen. You know, God is, you know, still in the healing business. God still wants to, to heal people. But we got to believe that's what it takes. It takes that faith, that believing that God is healing us and to take the step of faith forward, right? Because sometimes it takes some action. It takes action on our behalf. We got to move forward. Right. We got to move forward and labor and work in it. Right. And we got to allow God to also work in our hearts. See, God wants to heal us, but but that's not it. Right. He wants to heal us physically, but he also wants to heal you spiritually, just like the the man in the pool. Right. He, he got healing. He got physical healing. But Jesus met him back. Jesus came back because Jesus' main concern was his spiritual health. And he wanted to heal him. And he told him, you are forgiven. You are healed. And sin no more. See, Jesus loves you. He wants to heal you physically, but it doesn't stop there, saints. Mm -hmm. He wants to heal you spiritually. Yes. So we, we pray this right now that, that God is healing your hearts, healing the brokenness of your hearts because God is still mending our hearts. God is still working in our hearts and we still keep pursuing God because we know we are nothing without the Holy Spirit. So I charge you, men of God, I charge you, women of God, don't stop now. Keep seeking him. Don't stop at the first blessing. Keep getting more blessings. Keep walking into your purpose. Because God has a big plan for you. God has a big plan for all marriages, for all, because they are, they are together. They're in one flesh. They are a holy covenant. So I pray a special blessing for all marriages and all single mothers and all uh, family members out there and all children and all widows. We love you and we cover you. Chapel of Change is here to pray with you. And we're here to walk with you in this time. We're here. Message us. Message us. Um, and if, if you have a, a private prayer, you know, private message us and we'll get back to you and we'll pray with you and we'll walk with you because we believe here at Chapel of Change Dallas that we are family. We don't just want to go to church, right, and just, you know, see you on Sunday. That's not our goal. Our goal is to get to know you. Our goal is to pray with you. Our goal is to, to walk with you and to strengthen you. That is our goal. That's why God has sent us here, to be a family. And I believe a church should be a family. It goes past just ministry. Amen? Amen. Amen, saints. So we love you guys. We love you. We love you more so. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. So tune in every Monday at six o'clock for our spiritual warfare and uh, tune in Wednesday for our uh, 
uh, midweek service, our midweek service. Oh, I love our midweek service. You know, it helps us, you know, in the midweek, get our praise on and keep moving forward. Amen. Because we all need a fresh feeling, right? We all need to come together and fellowship with the saints. Amen. And then also Saturday, and uh, uh, Pastor Catherine gives her encouraging word at 12 o'clock. So you don't want to miss that. And then back again Sunday for our Sunday service. So there's options. There's options out there. Amen. So if you need the address, we will um, put the address for our midweek service and also our Sunday service. All right. All right. God bless you. We love you guys. And we love you. God bless.